Hello guys and welcome back to Play of the J. We're here for the final round of this evening's Physics Invitational PUBG scrims. So let's get stuck into this final round and see how it's going to be shaping up. So we are already seen in the first three rounds, Frostfire really coming out clutch, getting three chicken dinners in a row and uh, really look pretty good, able to come out with those very clutch plays right at the end. Of course, in second round, it was oh, is Revex uh, as a solo player able to win a one on two situation. And then in the last game, we saw a frantic end where the circle fully collapsed on the, the what is it, the pool building at school and uh, it was absolutely hectic and Frostfire really doing the work here. So let's see whether they can make it four in a row here or whether anyone else is going to step up to the plate. And uh, we already have ONE Esports going to Alcantara, Vengeance going for a very similar looting area over here. Uh, and same with Stage Gaming, they went to the water treatment side. Physics Gaming here also heading in this direction but now it looks like we have both Flash Vision and uh, Genius Team. Both and Stadium Fighter all going for Picado at once. I think they all just want to have a good last game here and uh, really hot drop it in style because Picado was completely unoccupied in round number two. So it's going to be interesting to see how these guys want to shape up. Looks as though Stadium Fighter are going to take the northern side. Flash Vision here actually going to grab a vehicle here and might opt to. Uh well, actually, they're just going to bring it inside the fighting arena into a bit more of their territory. Genius team going to be hanging around the south and uh, western sides of uh, Picado for the time being, it would seem. Now, this could potentially get heated up later. We'll see whether the teams really want to fight for it. Circle is going to be um, just a little bit towards the south, uh, south side of the map here. And... Uh, it's going to be most of the teams, in fact, not really inside the zone. They all dropped quite early. Quacker doesn't have Flash Vision to worry about as they did drop in Picado for this particular game. And uh, looks like a Battle Arena Elite's going to have El Pozo all to themselves here. So going to be a nice little boost for them there, not really having to worry about anyone else. Frostfire has Chumacera again all to themselves. And looks like uh, we have Gaventure going over Los Leones, but a little bit further towards the western side. Usually they will always be on the north. And we see Gang FTY kind of spread out here and uh, not sure if they're hedging their bets or, or what, but it looks like M0 already securing that early vehicle. And it just looks so congested here, just north of the circle. Everyone really going to have to make their way down. Geek Fam here not opting for uh, heading towards um, military base here or Campo Militar for this particular round here, but they are going to be hanging out very close by, but Aini here going to get caught out by Mr. Bourne. Mr. Bourne going to run across here and see what he can do, see if he can catch out any more of them. Otaro gets finished off there, and Kahaya here going to take down Mr. Five as well, but not before Mr. Bourne comes around the side here, and luckily for Mr. Pa, he was in such a good position there, and going to be able to get him up. Dini gonna get Aini up. She's gonna have to heal up just a little bit here before they get back into the fight here. Pearpie and Bunny Hop not quite uh, so, so close to be able to influence proceedings just here. But Mr. Bourne gonna be looking to see if they can catch out Dini. But Dini already landing quite a few hits, but looks like um, they the rest of Flash Vision comes up big here, able to take down the last two Stadium Fighter players, and they get eliminated here. And uh, they go out in 18th position. So besides Silver Wolves, not, uh, unfortunately not participating here in, um, well, this week and the previous week. Uh, I think Lemon Gaming Gold here was unable to play that final round. So it's going to be only 18 teams at the start, but we're already down to 17 here. Looks like Genius Team here just going to continue looting on towards the south side here. Not going to engage into any uh, fights just yet. And it looks like Valadamar is going to be... Face Gaming's uh, place of choice right now. Uh, Going to be very far away from most of the other teams, so they should have a very stress-free looting phase. Um, Battle Arena Elites is a little bit further away by comparison, so they're going to have to start making their moves into the center of the circle pretty soon. But Battle Arena Elites, we do tend to see them quite early in general, so I would expect them to see them get ahead of the pack. But now Hahagus and Nine Holy going to be exchanging some blows over here. And uh, Hagu is going to continue moving onwards towards those concrete structures here and loot up just a little bit more. Nineholdy here going to grab the minivan and try and move on to greener pastures as a uh, whole army factory looting up this zone. They're already moving down past the power grid side. 
Now, Vengeance is actually following very closely behind them. They already managed to fill, loot up all these buildings here. And uh, probably going to be running into a lot of empty empty buildings here, potentially. But uh, now Hakugus might have a chance to get some revenge fire back in Nine Holy's direction here. But he actually gets out here. And uh, actually going to grab another vehicle here. Hakugus has a chance here to try and do something. But uh, looks like he's getting some return fire. Nine Holy not afraid to uh, stop the car again here and say, Hey, you're going to... Shoot at my car, you don't touch man's car, man! But yeah, Hago is gonna continue uh, moving through the, the warehouse complex right now. And uh, he's just posting up, waiting for that right moment. But uh, Nine Holy gonna run and pull, oh, still able to get the incredible DPS going for him. But looks like Dream's catching all the bullets for him. But uh, should be okay here for Gold Army Factory as they do have significant numbers to deal with this as uh, Red Sea actually is kind of spread out there. They always go for power grid, but it's a little bit more spaced out than uh, maybe what we have seen in the past. But uh, now it looks like Motel here is under fire as carrying Asui here, trying to loot up on the roof here, but he's going to get taken down. Mr. Pa going to make the aggressive move here down the side here, see whether he can make up some ground. And uh, Flash Vision doesn't look as though they're uh, afraid to really run out in the distance here. They have the pick. Now is the time for them to exact that terrible vengeance. But uh, looks like Paid here going to be up on the high ground. I'm not sure if he saw Mr. Pa or not, but Usui here getting rest here for the time being. But now Joker's here is going to actually get the better of Parapai and immediately pop up the heal there. Mr. Bourne is moving in here, try and catch him behind the counter. He knows that he could not have gone far. Really, not much he can go, but Mr. Bourne really not able to land enough connections fast enough here. And it looks like Joker here going to pick up two kills just like that and just like that. We see Flash Vision are going to be on the back foot here. Mr. Bo Mr. Pa going to be up here on the roof and uh, going to have to try and get a lucky pick here. But uh, now it's going to be Bunny Hop who's going to be a little bit further away here. Now Joker is going to be very happy with the amount of loot that was just delivered to him by Flash Vision here. And uh, looks like Genius Team here might come out on top in the, the fight for Pecado. But as things are go, uh, progressing here, the blue zone is on the move. Everyone is starting to make their way in. Looks like Battle Arena at least moving all the way down here. Um, it looks like the other teams here, like Vengeance here, are actually going very central into the circle here. They're going right past Minnow Puppy Job here, attracting quite a bit of fire. But looks like they're going to be able to be all right for the time being here. But meanwhile, Usui here. Um, still just trying to hang out. He has still not got a replacement helmet, unfortunately. And Mr. Pa is going to be just hanging out on the roof. And it's just really difficult for Genie's team to think of how they're going to be getting out here. Bunny Hop going to also be hanging out maybe a little bit closer towards the center of the circle. But they are inside the circle regardless here. But it looks like Geek Fam here going to get road kill there as game gets taken down. And uh, uh, I think they st it's still a bit bugged there at the top of the screen there, but uh, Fizzer Esports still very much in the game. Gold Army Factory also making their way through this zone here, but looks like Awang here going to be facing the pressure as Sim able to take him down there and uh, just lost all the tires that he's not able to help. The nade actually coming out there, I think they're still going to be... Is there still one of the players here? No, I don't think so. But uh, looks like uh, Awad here taking quite a bit of damage him. Him and X-Fang here are going to continue getting away just a little bit here. And everyone's starting to face the, the burn here in rotations here as uh, Bunny Hop going to town and uh, doing the work here for Flash Vision as he's the last player left alive here. Mr. Pa not able to do the work there from the high ground on top of the motel. But now he's in a very difficult spot. He doesn't have many angles that he can maneuver around. Usui here would have covered that other side here. But now Joker's X and Nazi starting to advance closer here on the position here. And Nazi might not know exactly where he is. But now he's uh, the position given away here. Buddy Hop is going to have to do the best that he can. But it looks like Nazi going to stroll in here and eliminate the last flash. As they get eliminated in 17th position. But Usui got, got taken down there for a second time there, so he's on his second knock. He has to just be a little bit careful. And uh, we're already seeing that uh, Minokopi Chop starting to congregate. ONE here moving in from Alcantara. They did take their time. Awat and uh, X-Fang here did manage to get the heals off for the time being. And uh, for now, it looks like they should be able to continue onwards without too much of a hiccup. Um, Stage Gaming going to be moving in from the north side a bit late here as well. Looks like uh, Face Gaming here, no strangers to moving in late into the circle. They're going to be taking their time in Valley Del Mar. Battle Arena Elites also moving in after they have gone across 
the whole coastal road right there. Now, it looks like Frostfire are winners for all three rounds that we have seen so far to date here are actually getting a lot of pressure done towards Gold Army Factory. They have a very nice spot here. It does give them a very good vantage point from the church side of things here. And let's see how they can use the position very effectively or not. But uh, Red Sea going to be very close here after moving in here. But more Nation Madness here as Terrence goes flying after he's under a lot of fire from Minimum Copy Jump as well. And now, looks like Darkus here going to try the, the Kobe nade here, but it's going to be a little bit too far away from the rest of the O&E. O&E here going to be able to get away. Terrence taking the most damage there. I'm not sure if it was actually from bullets or is actually from damage that he inflicted upon himself by flipping the car. But now it looks like Minokopi Jap going to continue moving onwards himself and try and find a spot inside the circle. Battle Arena Elite's pretty happy to reside here. Uh, the circle's still pretty big, and there's still plenty of room for all these teams to maneuver around once the second circle starts to reveal itself. But Quacker here does have to see ONE rotating through their position here. Then it looks like MMP here is gonna get taken down there by Upload. So some nice shots coming out there from Quacker, but the rest of ONE here are gonna be maneuvering away and around, take the long way around here, but they do have Genius Team as well that they have to be a little bit mindful of and looks like Usui here not able to shoot at the exact moment right there as uh, Zobi here taking uh, a little bit longer than expected to, to try and traverse the terrain but uh, he's still attracting a lot of fire here and just about able to get away and wow talk about hard shifts here it's gone all the way down to the southeast here so it's gonna be uh, well Gang FTY does have that central position here Gaventure here is so gonna be pretty uh, pleased with that one as well now Dankirk is really far away from the rest of uh, the Gang FTY guys here you are really gonna have to think about it base gaming here gonna making their speedy rotation here try and get inside the zone very quickly here after moving in from Valet Del Mar now looks like Vengeance here after it seems as though that they travel all the way down through a lot of these players here, but they ended up here on the western side. So, oh, Device and the rest of uh, World Army Factory in a bit of trouble here. They ran into Stage Gaming, and Stage Gaming picking up three kills there as uh, Fizrix Esports not in the best of shape there. I think they are down to one player left alive. It's only 11. Nana here, which I'm not sure if he's uh, disconnected or AFK, but I don't think he's going to survive long taking that blue damage if he is. Uh, but now everyone is starting to move in here. Circle is going to start closing in again pretty soon. So everyone's going to have to try and find the spot. Adventure moving all the way over here. Danker going to start meeting up with the rest of uh, Gang FTY. But M0 is still all the way and puts a Pariso for the time being. Battle Arena Elites also going to be making their way over in just a little bit. But now it looks like uh, JMU's here gets taken down by Darkus after uh, two of the Minokopi job players gets caught in rotation there. K Bytes and Rosex D getting knocked down. Mune is still up here for the time being. He does have Esco Rex who is going to be moving in on this position, but he's going to be prioritizing getting JMU's up here for the time being. Esco Rex also going to see whether or not he can level up the playing field here and uh, get Darkus up back into the fight. But they're currently on this western side here. It might be difficult for them to deal with this as uh, also there's going to be the other two Vengeance players starting to move in from this position. Now they execute the other two um, Minokopi Copy Jab players here. And now going to be moving in very close very to where Mox and Alan Lumbu is actually uh, moving in here. So Darkus here going to be taking the vehicle here. See whether or not that he can get out of here. He's just going to be taking a little bit too much fire for the time being here. And Asko Rex going to give some breathing room taking down Yune here. But Mox here might be in a good position. But looks like Asko Rex going to bug out there with the, the buggy right now. And blue damage is going to start taking its toll. But everyone else is starting to make their way in here as well. Looks like Gang FTY putting pressure onto Conventure here. They spot them in the multi-story. Slide ED getting headshotted there by Rain Zera on the low ground. Now, looks like uh, the rest should be fine here. But no helmet left here for Slide ED in round number four. But um, he still has a chance to get it. It's just going to be very difficult unless the circle starts falling on Los Leones. Because there's just not a lot of buildings here to replace your gear. And that's also why teams have to think very carefully if they want to take very early game fights. And uh, I know it's kind of at the mid-game, but I guess for all intents and purposes, we can say that this is a 
still quite early on as we do still have 16 teams left here in our final round for this evening script. So guys, a reminder, every Friday we do have uh, Physics Gaming um, Invitational PUBG scripts where we, they invite uh, 20 teams here as uh, some of the best that Malaysia has to offer and uh, compete against each other at the end of the month. All the scores are tallied here from all four scrim days over uh, over 16 rounds. And uh, got to get a, a token prize there. So uh, stay tuned to the Physrix uh, gaming page there to see what the winners will be receiving. But uh, for all intents and purposes, I mean, this is still going to be a nice practice scrim for all these very highly competitive Malaysian PUBG teams and looking to strut their stuff here and show that they can duke it out. But it looks like Circle here going to shift and it's going to be down in the center here. It looks like Gang MTY and uh, Gaventure here going to be very smack in the middle. But everyone else is on the periphery here and they have to just be a little bit mindful if the Circle starts shifting towards the northern side here. They're going to get all these teams starting to push through their position. Cracker here, moving down from San Martin side here. They're going to take their time moving through Los Leones. They already have that circle in position, or rather they are already positioned inside that circle. And Red Sea going to be just on the edge here, but they have to be a little bit careful. They don't run into any of these teams here. Because it's very easy to get tripped up just a little bit here. Dream's actually catching a glimpse of Gang FDY just for a moment there. But uh, not able to land the connections just yet. Danker taking a little bit of fire himself there. But uh, looks like Battle Arena at least moving in. And looks like M0 are going to take down Cookies. Because U is going to take that position there. And now Gang FDY going to see whether or not they can spot out the rest of Battle Arena elites here. As uh, currently they're all just trying to hang out for the time being. While they see if uh, things are going to be developing just a little bit further on. But um, we're already seeing Oni here. Taking up this position, not well, some distance away from the center of the circle, but it looks like Battle Arena at least reassessing their position here. And Chawei is going to be spreading the field a little bit towards the left side here and see, or rather, um, move a bit further to the northeast here. See whether or not that he can get a better position here. Sophia, Batman, and uh, uh, Chawei does have quite a lot of angles that they can work with. And uh, now a lot of the other rotations coming out here from Frostfire and uh, also Gold Army Factory is going to be um, making Gang FTY decide like how they want to really react to these kind of movements that we see from these other teams as um, they don't want to get sandwiched here they have to move from the high ground and move closer towards battle arena elites so they only want to take one fight at a time if they can the venture here is still going to take up that very central spot here where they have a few of those multi-story buildings to work with uh, face gaming is still going to be here on the edge of the circle going to be taking their time as is stage gaming geek fam also uh trying to have that concerted effort here having all of their players up here for um the mid stages of this game but now red sea here actually moving along the edge of the circle and might be moving in a little bit later on but uh for now we'll see how that might be uh faring up a little bit for some of these players here as uh currently we see vengeance also starting to move in here quacker is actually uh, fix their position for the time being here not wanting to move any further see whether or not that they could just call this space uh, their own for the time being as they do want to try and map out where the other teams are and in a place like Los Leones is always going to be difficult because it just is such a big urban area and uh, really teams do have to be very careful how they want to try and get around here as um, there's going to be traps waiting almost er everywhere that you might be going here but force it actually spotting out mox there landing a couple of hits there with the sks but not able to land the knockout blow there and uh him and alan lembu just going to be residing there for the time being i think Forsen just wants to try and get a little bit more vision see whether or not that they're going to get flanked there on the sides there as he tries to secure the place for there for quacker but now circle has almost finished moving in physics gaming here has to move in just a little bit to try and get inside the zone but uh, shouldn't be really that much of an issue there for them as we're going to see how this is going to be shaping up. But I don't know whether or not the, the Sage Gaming guys here has actually spotted out O&E. O&E currently still uh, having the two players they have remaining hanging out there. And looks like we do have a dramatic shift in Battle Arena. At least going to be pretty happy with that one. As, uh, it's going to shift all the way down here to the southeast. And uh, really not making it easy for everyone else to, to try and deal with this. I would find as a... Um, all these teams here, like Adventure, Frostfire, and Gang of they have to move faster to try and prevent all these teams from crashing right into them here. But Stage Gaming here unloading onto the Boini players. I'm not sure what Kitsyong was shooting at there. 
But looks like uh, Young G was definitely aiming at the head there from Terrence there, and he gets him taken down. Onigate has to try and deal with this himself there, but he's under so much pressure there, and looks like Sim here going to finish off Onigate, and that's it for Oni Esports here in round number four. Looks like Genius Team also coming in uh, through Los Leones as well, and whoa, Joker, Joker able to get a nice headshot there onto Kenny at distance as... Uh, that's uh, that's really far away, so nice shot coming out from him. And um, the rest should be okay. He does have the vehicle for a little bit of cover, but now it looks like Quacker here trying to withdraw from Los Leones here. It's taking a lot of shots in the back here. Vengeance moving in with a vengeance. <laughs> uh, well, in any case, joke, bad jokes aside, Forza in here is going to be digging down there. I don't think that the rest of Cracker is going to start coming down on the, the high ground, but Skyrex going to take the headshot to Alan Lembu. And uh, now he is a little bit further away here. I don't... Mune is going to try and come over here and see what he can do, but Savior runs into a hail of uh, Gaventure's bullets right there, and he gets absolutely uh, annihilated. Now, it looks like the rest of Geek Fam going to use their vehicles, try and get that rotation in here. As uh, Vengeance here, in trouble. They have already, uh, Alan Lumbu, uh, I think, is getting res right now, but J Muse here also um, getting taken down and actually finished off as well. Geek Fam all rotating through this zone here, and it looks like GDC here trying to put the finishing touches onto Kenny, but not able to land the shots this year. And Jax here going fairly late here, he's taking a lot of fire, but oh, he's able to get away there. So Geek Fam going to be able to get away in here. Looks like Gank Danker getting taken down, the kill leader, I think for Gang FTY there, but now we're already seeing that Genius Team here starting to move in, the circle is co uh, coaxing them inside here, and they're going to be taking quite a bit of damage here, AC goes down here, Usui here escapes taking too much fire there, Cracker going to be on the high ground for the time being, and Battle Arena at least actually moving to the warehouse complex here, and should be able to get away just in time. Looks like Face Gaming here taking up a new position here, on, still on the southwestern corner. But uh, Fistrix Gaming here has trouble coming in in the form of Stage Gaming, trying to put some shots in their direction. And uh, they got a long way, not a long way to go, but they got a ways to go and across open ground as well as we're seeing that Gold Army Factory taking the fight to Geek Fam here as Kenny and Wadi gets taken down there after they move into the zone here after just escaping quite a bunch of uh, frights earlier on. Geek uh, Jack's still going to be alive here, but now Vengeance uh, getting picked apart here. Usui here, going to pick off Mok, who is a little bit further away. Mune is actually coming in. I'm not sure if Usui here was actually able to see him in that instance, but now Mune is moving in and going to try and see where he can get some revenge. And looks like he takes out uh, Usui here, and that's going to be it for them there. And um, we're already seeing Quacker here trying to repel the attacks here. There's only Croft Barzum left here as he fought, tries to fight off. Bull Army Factory, but the rest of Bull Army Factory pushes up here. They're all shooting through the smoke here. And the Nine Holy comes around the side and he lays the smack down. It looks like Quacker here are going to get eliminated in 12th position as uh, they're going to, Gold Army Factory going to have that very solid position here on the western side. And now it looks like Circle here going to be fairly central. So probably going to see a fair amount of repositioning from all of these teams here try and see what they can do but now it looks like um, M0 and the rest of Gang FTY putting pressure onto Face Gaming here and uh, currently they are still trying to move in they've been hugging that uh, southwestern side here for quite a bit but they do have a number of teams already taking up that position so Crossfire not going to make it easy Rascal running out in the open getting hit once or twice there and Grizzom going to hold the angle there as uh, currently Frostfire going to be pretty happy with the position that they're in. They just have to make sure that they don't get shot in the back there by Gang FTY, but they do have enough cover there in that compound to try and sustain themselves. But now we're already seeing others starting to move in here, and uh, we're already seeing Gaventure here starting to make their way in here for the time being. And uh, looks like the vehicle is getting disabled there. And now Face Gaming here going to be running out in the open here. Grizzop going to try and make whatever connections he can. Rascal taking quite a few hits there. And uh, he's got just a little bit of health left. But um, but looks like he's going to get taken down in the end. Sarah Beam here zigzagging here to as much as he can here. But uh, it's not looking good. Red Sea here also weighing in on this one. And looks like Rascal should be rest there by Zack. But G goes down there. That's a, a whole of Frostfire just making things super difficult there. And M0 wipes out the whole of... Uh, 
Gold Army Factory. Um, I'm not sure if the vehicle exploded there or something. No, I think they all just got mowed down at the, after they vacated their vehicle. I think. I think that's not destroyed. But yeah, in any case, it looks like Gang of Two are going to come out on top of Gold Army Factory in that fight here. And now Face Gaming here, fighting for survival here. They still have all four players. They managed to get Rascal and Chi back up here. Darkus for Minnow Copy Job is very close by there. So they're going to take uh, a lot of attention there from um, Frostfire here. And that's just not going to be very useful for uh, Darkus. But as long as someone else is taking the shots for him, that's fine. It's just that he can't really move without getting seen. And uh, now Don Pablo and Papa Zayat here going to put a lot of shots in this direction as they're moving in from the south side. But Darkus going to get caught out here as the whole of Crossfire is making a shooting gallery of this right now. But looks like Teddy here going to get caught out there by Joku as Red Sea starting to make their presence felt here. But uh, there's not that much uh, going on at the moment here as uh, currently Chi... Oh, Chi uh, thought he was safe there. He gets taken down. Now Seraphine going to be the last player left alive here as Papa Zai claims that kill there. Now Seraphine is a little bit hidden here and he's just inside the zone. So looks like uh, the face gaming here going to still be in this one as uh, he continues to hold the torch. And now Grissom manages to take down Joku here. And there's a lot of blows being traded here, but Teddy has been res, so not going to be too lasting here in Crossfire's case. But looks like Joku here going to get finished off, and now Seraphine here is in a very difficult spot. Looks like only Gaventure here has a foothold inside the circle. Gang FTY going to have to move in from that western side. Frostfire already moving in here. We could see a collision between these teams here as they try to make their way in, but Gang FTY is still on the high ground, so... They're not going to be susceptible to from too much fire here. And I think Frostfire should just be able to get some degree of cover here. Just not going to be very plentiful as uh, there's not a lot for Gang FTY to go on here as well. They do have to create there for a little bit of cover. The Red Sea here now under fire from Frostfire. Grissom able to get that that shot. Look at, look at the angle there. And he was lying prone as well. The bullet drop for the win. But yeah, looks like uh, we're having M0 going to mobilize, get the vehicle here, see whether or not they can make their own cover here when they move into the zone. But uh, Gaventure here might be in a position here to put the smackdown onto Gang FTY. If you're not careful, Sly DD popping up over the top to try and survey the, what it looks like going on here. But looks like Red Sea here going to get taken out by Chiawe and the rest of Battle Arena elites here after they were trying to move in. Seraphim here also trying to make his way in. M0 knocking down... Teddy here and the nade comes out here to try and confirm the kill but looks like too much third party fire here as Nura is going to be able to take down uh, M0. Now there's only going to be, well there's still um, two, Allen's and Sly DD for Gang FTY. Revax here going to move up. Clutch player from the previous three rounds. Can he get more kills in the back here? He has got no kills so far. Grizzom leading the way here. He's having a great game with uh, four kills in the bag but it looks like Allen's just trying to see whether or not his nade can land a good connection there as now we're seeing stage gaming starting to put pressure onto battle arena elites they're not all inside the zone just yet here and uh, have to make do with the current situation but they are mobilizing their vehicles but it looks like frostfire starting to pop up over the top but alan's going to be able to catch out abdul and now he's moving in here is going to be out in the open alan's landing quite a few shots there but teddy is knocked down as well by sly dd and uh, I'm going to go for the heal. Rebacks here uh, is uh, trying to shoot Alan in the back here. As uh, he's trying to finish off Grissom. But looks like Grissom here going to be able to get the kill there. Gang at UI getting eliminated in 7th position here. And Frostfire is still going to have 3 players up here. And the Dream is still alive. Getting all 4 wins here in one day. And looks like uh, Rebacks here going to be out in the open. But Seraphim here might have uh, distracted a little bit here. But it doesn't look as though that Frostfire moved their position too yet. But... It looks as though after taking some fire, they're going to be aware of Battle Arena leads here in the southern side of the circle. Gaventure here is still holding this position quite solidly. Uh, they do have Physics Gaming very close to them on the northern side of the circle. And uh, they're all just below the ridge there. So Chilrex holding the back here and watching their, their flank. Make sure that uh, nothing bad is going to be coming their way without them knowing about it. But now Krizom here is starting to set his sights onto Battle Arena Elite. See what he can do. He has managed to get 5 kills so far in this game and um, oh yeah that's a rampage according to the game now. And now Sophia attracting a little bit of fire himself.
But um, now Gaventure moving inside the circle very early here, try and secure a foothold here. But they have to just be a little bit careful whether or not that they are going to get spotted out. They do have, oh, quite a nice uh, ditch here that they can actually use to good effect here. Grizzom is going to be in charge of walk, watching this flank here to see what he can do. Rainzera taking a hit there. And uh, looks like Adol going to combine very nicely there and able to take him down. Now the rest is going off. See whether Frostfire wants to press the issue or not. They are not inside the zone here. They could look at taking them out here quickly and taking their spot. But now it looks like Awa here trying to deal with Stage Gaming who is just pushing in the zone for the time being. Now there's only going to be X Fang here who's going to be alive here. He takes a big hit there from Young G and uh, not going to be too mindful of like what's going on now. I think he's just trying to see what other kills that he can secure here. And Wilf's landing some shots there, but uh, looks like it's going to be the blues on that. Finally finishes him off, and Adol is spraying inside the smoke here. He doesn't have any nades left here to try and finish off the rest of these Gaventure players there. All stuck together pretty much. They don't have a lot of angles, and they're still stage gaming on the high ground, making things difficult. Ravax goes down here and gets finished off. So he finally does die here, and... Uh, like uh, that he's not going to be able to finish to see out the end here of round number four but the rest of the crossfire is still going strong through Adol. Well strong is a subjective word in this case they're still around let's put it that way and uh, now battle arena elites might be able to come in here and put the squeeze onto all of these players here they are trying to scope out the zone they are quite central for the time being ch gaming moving along the roadside here they do have that little bit of cover for the time being now it looks like stage gaming here is starting to pop up over here and just so you can get a little bit of an idea of the terrain here it looks like this this road separating stage gaming and um Battle Arena leads from breaking out into all out war. Adol gonna use the smoke there as long as he can here, try and fend off the fu uh, any further pushes. Um, and also just to survive just a little bit more for Frostfire. And we did see how Revex was able to take that chicken dinner in round number two, despite being the solo squad member for quite some time there. So now it looks like Sophia just seeing whether or not can get any more vision there. And uh, can kind of see that Adol is there, just not able to land the connections, but Batman. Getting caught out there by Nura, and uh, now looks like Chilrex here going to be continuing to watch there. It uh, looks like Adol is just a big thorn in the side right now, but Nura gets taken down by the nade. Chilrex takes quite a bit of damage here, and uh, now it looks like Stage Gaming starting to move in from the rear, and um, they have seven kills here in this game, and the circle is very much in their favor, and I'm not sure that uh, Battle Arena at least knows too much about this. Sophia, currently not the wiser here, taking quite a number of hits there. Sim going to be able to get the knock. And now Chao Wei going to be moving around the side as the sole remaining player that is still up there for Battle Arena Elites. And Adul still going to hang out there. He has to move pretty quickly here. Otherwise, he's going to be in a bit of trouble as currently Nura and uh, the rest are still trying to deal with it. But it looks like Stage Gaming spots out Adul and does um, Gaventure a bit of a favor here as Rain Zera now has time to heal up just a little bit without facing too much pressure there. But now Sim M starting to come up here. Only three teams left here remaining and Nora gets taken down. Nice headshot there coming out from Young G and Kids Young going to be moving on the high ground. Might be able to get into a very good position to take down these players and uh, there's a lot of loot lying on the, the side of the road here and now Rain Zera going to be the last player left up here under so much fire and Stage Gaming cleans up the house there. 12 kills here in this game and there's only Xiao Wei left here alive but Xiao Wei able to take him down there and Xiao Wei now has to run for his life here see what he can do but uh, Stage Gaming is going to be uh, fast advancing on his position. Kids Young moving around the side here and uh, might be able to get some good vision onto Xiao Wei and looks like that's going to be it. Stage Gaming able to do better than the previous round where they managed to get second place in that very nail-biting finish there and they're able to really clean house in the final round of this evening. So it looks as though that the winning streak for Frostfire is a little bit broken there and Stage Gaming able to come through. Eight kills for Sim and uh, Good performance coming out from them. Young G following up with four kills. And in second place, we have Battle Arena Elites getting into second position here. Unfortunately, not able to get that elusive chicken dinner. Xiao Wei was the last surviving team member. He did manage to pick off um, uh, some players there in the, towards the end there. But uh, he, for the most part, he had to try and avoid the fight there as um, Gaventure was the total uh, attention point for the rest of Stage Gaming. And But Nora able to get... 
five kills so excellent performance but unfortunately it was absolutely crowded on that side of the circle and it was always going to be difficult for them and they had Adul in their backside for quite some time there and uh, really making things very precarious for them to move out but uh, unfortunately Adol got shot out there Grusom got five kills there and uh, stepping up to the plate here for Frostfire unfortunately not able to get four chicken dinners in a row but overall they've had a very good evening in terms of their performances and results and in fifth place it is going to be the Physrix gaming guys here able to get into fifth place here but uh, they were kind of squeezed out towards the end there by Adventure and Sage Gaming and that was always going to be a very difficult situation i think they only had two players towards the end so guys that is going to be it so uh i will be uploading the the the, the videos later on to my youtube channel if you do want to watch later on these four rounds and uh, there's also the rounds from last week so youtube uh playlist link is inside the video description so that's it for the physrix gaming invitational PUBG scrims guys where we have the top Malaysian teams duking it out here once a week so we will be coming back next Friday here to see who is going to be the the champion for the month of December here and uh, win a small prize there from Physrix Gaming there for coming out on top so guys thank you so much for watching much appreciated for all the shares and likes so far I uh, hope you enjoyed yourself and I wish you a very good weekend moving forward